thing started three years ago when I adopted my boy band from South Africa. And they, they get off the plane at LAX on Independence Day, 2009. And they'd never been to the States, and they're all naive, and I start rolling tape on them immediately. And so they'd never pumped gas, and they had never seen, you know, things like we see in L.A. We looked for a manager. We ended up with Bengal Tigers. We ended up, I ended up in the ER bleeding profusely, getting stitches. We had a car accident. This is all within the first four days. Oh, no. And I'm just rolling on everything. And I called my husband and said, this has to be a show. This, this is adorable. I think Clint thought it was great when it was the band and me. Once the kids got thrown into the mix, I think a little resistance started, and, and I, I applaud him for resisting the fact that two teenage girls are going to be in a reality show. You know? Because you see so many of the other ones, and, and you see maybe girls behaving badly, or this happens with a family, so mm -hmm. were those some of his reservations? Sure, you know, I don't want to sound naive, but maybe not so much that as worried that the kids could get a little bit spoiled, mm -hmm. like go go Hollywood on him. You know, he's kind of the anti of what you imagine Hollywood would be. So there is, ain't nobody doing his shopping for him. At, he do, he's at the grocery store. If you want to see Clint Eastwood and Carmel go to Whole Foods, like he's, you know, he does everything. And he just kept saying, don't let it all get to you. Don't start buying into it, girl. I told you he was a sensitive man. I could see it in his face. There are so many people, you know, that are say, that say, why would Clint Eastwood want to be involved with the reality yeah. show, or even want his family to course, be involved absolutely. in the reality show? I know, honey. He didn't need to do that. I know. A lot of people. A lot of people that we love, a lot of family members, a lot of friends, a lot of people in the entertainment business. That's where I come in, and I feel really bad, mm -hmm. because I feel like I'm being the gatekeeper of his reputation in shooting the show, and I am. I am diligent, and so it's made shooting the show not as much fun for me as it is for everyone else. Everybody else is having a ball. Right. I'm constantly going, oh, that might shine incorrectly on Clint. We can't do that because you'll look like a fool. And but, you know, I'm, I'm always on guard. Nobody else is on guard. That's not to say I'm not totally myself because I'm not afraid to look a fool. Because Clint's not looking a fool. It's me, and I'm my own person. Right. You know, So I'm not worried about that aspect of it. But yeah, I don't want to ever, ever tarnish his reputation. And I think that we've kept it so separate, the show so separate from him, and he appears in it twice. Yeah, we saw him in the first episode. On his own. Like, that's his choice. Oh, so he wanted to be in that first episode. No, but I pushed him enough till he was. No. He, he actually was graciously in that first episode. Mm -hmm. He did know he was being taped. And mm -hmm. then he's in the episode coming up on Sunday night because my adorable beatboxer in the band gets married and I'm the stand-in mom. And so Clint is in that episode as well. There have been many other episodes where I wanted him in and he wouldn't, uh, he wouldn't participate. Oh, really? Yeah. Where I'd say, I really want you to be in the scene teaching Morgan how to drive. And he's like... Nope, don't Absolutely want to. Absolutely not. He just wasn't comfortable doing or he, he just once not, again. He's, like you said, he's just, no, he doesn't need it. Right. He doesn't need to be doing this, you know? You guys are on After the Kardashians, mm -hmm. which is a great time slot. Lucky. And Lucky I know me. I heard you had lunch with Kris Jenner to kind of pick her brain I didn't, about. I, I want to have lunch okay. with Kris Jenner, and I got to meet her. I was starstruck. We, had, we all had to go to an E! network event together. And um, the same production company does their show as ours. And always said, meet with Chris. She will help you. Because I literally am kind of flying solo. Like, right. I, I don't really know what I'm doing. I probably should have a little bit more help than I have right now to, to be doing a show of this magnitude. It's mm -hmm. really a beautifully done show. Kudos to E and Buna Murray. God. And so I did get to meet her and said, sometime could we go to lunch? It was very embarrassing. Did she give you a little piece of advice on how she to was, navigate this She was this great. Thing? She said, let's meet for lunch. You know who gave us advice? Who's that? Kim herself. Oh. Kim Kardashian gave us advice. What did she say? She got my band together, Overtone, and she said, I'm going to tell you all, grab it while you can. She's like, every opportunity that comes your way, seize the day, go for it. Be here 100%. And I was very impressed.